Hey everyone, Andy Rafael from eTechnics.com and I've got a big package. Let's check it out. The Virtuoso RGB Wireless SE headset from Corsair. With a sleek premium lightweight design, comfortable memory foam ear cups and subtle RGB lighting, it doesn't look like your typical gaming headset. With a detachable broadcast grade microphone, patented slipstream wireless technology, and tuned 50mm neodymium premium drivers, it's simply the best headset Corsair have ever created. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. So I just got this package in from MSI and it does say motherboard liquid cooling. So that sounds very interesting. I want to show you guys exactly what it's all about because this is very, very exciting. And as the thumbnail probably suggests, you kind of know what's inside here, but not the full story. So that's kind of where I want to get things, you know, rocking and rolling. So I know for a fact that there is a motherboard in here. I know for a fact there is some form of liquid cooling in here. And I know for a fact that there's an unreleased Intel CPU in here. Now I've got to be really, really careful about how I say things, what I talk about because I am bound by NDA and I don't want to get in trouble with both Intel as well as uh, MSI. But we have a little uh, a care package, shall we say. And it says Intel and MSI are ready to delight you the new year with perfect media kit. Grand present the best performance combination with. And then I don't even know if I can show you that. But there's an MSI Meg Z590 Ace in here and an MSI MPG Core Liquid K360, which I have actually seen. I've seen pictures of it, it does look great. So uh, I'm really excited about that. And MSI were actually really excited when they said that they were sending this out because they said, you know, it's gonna look amazing. We're really proud of it. But we hear that a lot from brands. So, you know, I've got my reservations and stuff at the moment, but this is how things look. And you gotta admit, this looks effing awesome. So this is it and I'm excited straight away. I mean, this looks premium. We don't normally get this kind of stuff from like board partners and things like that. So I'm really excited to kind of see, you know, how things are laid out inside. And I wanted to give you guys that glimpse of what's going on and everything. So let's get it unboxed and see what it's all about. And anyone who's kind of seen any of my videos before will know that we really, really do like and appreciate when brands do this and they have these kind of presentation boxes. We've got some behind us. You can probably see up here the orangey colored AMD ones. I've had some other ones in the past that are just out of shot like the Corsair Hydro X stuff that came in a Pelican case. And it's just always nice to sort of see. Sadly, I know, you know, from a retail perspective, you're never gonna see any of this, but you know, it's still a nice thing to kind of have and, you know, put in the, the background of our shots and, and things like that. So let's take this off and see exactly what we're dealing with. So this is what we're dealing with. So straight away, we've got the Meg Z590 Ace and we are gonna unbox it and just show you, you know, how things look. We've got the MPG Core Liquid K360 liquid cooling. And here, and this is probably all I can get away with saying is an undisclosed CPU product processor. So I'm going to open that up straight away so you guys can see what we've got. And just based on, I don't know, the fact that I can't show you anything, I guess the closest I can really get is by doing this and then pixelating it out. So apologies guys, that's just how it is. You know, we have to stick to these NDAs, but you do know now that we have the processor. We have the ability to do testing and, and stuff like that for the launch, which I don't even think the launch date is confirmed, but I guess it gives you an idea that it is coming soon. So that's the key important thing. And I actually wanna know, you know, in the comments section, are you guys excited about the Intel launch? Are you thinking maybe it's a little bit too late for Intel or have Intel still got the ability to come back from kind of everything they've been dealing with? So let's go through the cooler first and get this unboxed. So cooler wise, this is the K360. So as the name denotes, it's a 360 mil rad. And just looking through on the uh, on the back of it, features are meant to be powerful. The MSI Torx fan 4.0, concentrated cooling performance, independent fan control, and more importantly, a 2.4 inch customizable LCD display. It does seem like brands are kind of going down this route of having these displays that you can put your own things on. I think it was NZXT who kind of started things off as Zeus did something very, very similar. Now it's the turn of MSI. So straight away, that's a big block. I mean, that is a very, very big block. We have everything connected to the 360 mil radiator. 
I'm sure these are made by someone else. They're more than likely not going to be made by MSI. They're going to be kind of, you know, outsourced to someone else who is probably well versed in liquid cooling, whether it be Acertec or Cooler Master or someone else. But this is how things are looking. It obviously comes with an Intel bracket as standard. And this is something I've been talking about for a while because AIOs always seem to come with Intel as kind of the, the factory standard. And a lot of people have actually been saying maybe they should come with AMD instead. But Intel still are the market share leader. And this is something that you have to remember. And because this is coming as part of an Intel MSI kit, it makes sense to kind of have that in there as well. I've got to admit, there's a lot of cables, which I'm not overly keen on. I wish in a roundabout way that they could do very, very similar to Fractal and have it sleeved down with the tubes and actually coming out on the end of the radiator. It just makes life so much easier when you're doing cable management. But cable wise, we have a well, fan three connector, fan two connector, and there'll be a fan one connector. We have the uh, header for the CPU fan as well. So that's gonna be powering the pump. We do have a connector for addressable RGB lighting. So there's that as well. And that actually looks like a very, very good connector. I've always been a bit wary about addressable uh, RGB connectors and normal RGB connectors because they always feel flimsy. This just seems to be a little bit better quality. So. Straight away, you know, good things going on. We also have a USB header on here, which is going to be connecting straight into the motherboard and is going to give us, I'm guessing, access to all of the screen and the lighting and so forth. And then a SATA connector as well. I'm going to be honest, I feel like there's a bit too many connectors going on here, but if that's how things need to be done, then that's how things need to be done. In terms of the fans, it comes with three, which are obviously addressable RGB as well. Little MSI logo on there. Seem like pretty durable, decent fans. Connector-wise, obviously they have a four-pin PWM connector as well as another addressable header. So this is all gonna plug in together and I'm guessing there's some kind of hub in here for the addressable RGB side of things. Okay, so there is a splitter. So basically they give you a splitter which is gonna connect in your three addressable uh, RGB headers into a single header which can go straight onto the motherboard. So things are looking good. Let's get onto the motherboard. So motherboard wise, I've actually already been sent uh, a few MSI Z590 boards, but this is the Ace. And uh, we're gonna just unbox that and have a little look. So for anyone who doesn't know, Z590 is gonna open up the pathway for more features. So you're gonna get Wi-Fi 6E, you're gonna get Thunderbolt on sort of the higher end boards and things like that as well. And you are gonna get a lot more sort of USB functionality and stuff as well. So let's talk about the Ace and kind of who that's aimed at. It's not quite, you know, as high end as the godlike but it still is kind of up there. So anyone who doesn't know, MSI have different ranges. So they've got MPG, MAG, and MEG. So this is part of the MEG range, which I believe is the same as the Unify and the Godlike and everything else. And it always has a little bit of gold on there, which a lot of people don't like, but I quite like it. It does look quite premium and it's not too over the top. So here is the board itself, ATX form factor, Lots of phases by the looks of it. It looks like we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So the way that Z590 is at the moment, because of everything that we've seen spec wise, this could have full kind of 19 phases, probably doesn't. It's probably more than likely a 16 plus 2 plus 1 or some other kind of configuration. But these are probably rated quite high as well. Some of the gigabyte boards that we've seen are actually rated for like 2100 amps, which is just absolutely ridiculous. But this is the board. So based on kind of Z590 and comparing it against X570, it hasn't got a chipset fan on there, which is really, really nice to see. It has got M.2, but it's a little bit sketchy on how that works. So there is a little sticker on it, enable M.2.1 with 11th gen Intel core processors, i5 and above. So basically this top slot will completely cease to exist if you're not using an upcoming Rocket Lake processor. If you're using one of the 10th gen processors, it just won't work. As soon as you put Rocket Lake into there, away you go. It does look like we have another slot down here and then potentially another one here. So we've got three in total. If you don't wanna go down the NVMe route, then obviously we have SATA as well, of which there are six ports. We have USB 3.1, we have Type-C, we've got a debug LED, we've got plenty of fan headers, kind of scattered around the board. Two at the top for your pump and your CPU fan. We've got a system fan at the side. We've got another one down here. Uh, we've got a couple more down here as well. Addressable headers, normal RGB headers, 
We've got power and reset buttons for troubleshooting and kind of, you know, doing overclocking on the fly if you're using it in conjunction with a test bench. We've got a large heat sink up here, a large kind of heat sink around the CPU socket with a connecting heat pipe, two eight pin EPS power connectors, because if any of the rumors are true about kind of what we've learned in regards to what's gonna be, you know, utilized through Rocket Lake, they are gonna actually require quite a lot of power. It's got four dim slots, which are sort of coated, I guess, with, uh, or surrounded by uh, armor plating. Same on the three X16 slots as well. And then there's two X1 slots. So pretty decent. We have a, a large heat sink on the back as well, which is gonna help with sort of the stability of the board as well as uh, the cooling aspects of it. Has got audio boost 5 HD. So be expecting pretty decent results when it comes to the audio. We do have, and yes, I've got to do this, Oh yeah, we do have plenty of USBs on here. So super speed ones, we've got a flash BIOS with even faster speeds. We've got two Thunderbolt ports. We have mini display port in, which I don't actually think I've seen on the motherboard up until now. So that's quite interesting. We have a flash BIOS button, a clear CMOS button, the Wi-Fi 6E connectors, as well as our audio here with an SP diff port. It does have a single 2.5G ethernet port, but nothing above and beyond that. I personally, for a board of this caliber, would have liked to have maybe seen two ethernet ports, but I guess for the average consumer out there, the average enthusiast, well, you're only gonna need one. You're not gonna be connecting to, enabling LAN teaming and you know that kind of stuff. So yeah, overall, it looks pretty good. And obviously the last box I can't even talk about, but as I mentioned, there is a processor in here and I'm hoping I'm not even got in trouble for that. So there you have it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know exactly what to do. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Comment below and let me know. Are you actually excited about Intel Z590 upcoming Rocket Lake processors? I'm really interested to know kind of what the general demographic are thinking right now. See you in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.